Lucy, congratulations on the Thanks. film. I just got Thank a chance you. to watch it and really, really enjoyed it. So oh, good. Thank jump you. in and tell me a little bit about, you know, what drew you to Margaret's story and why you wanted to tell it. I just love bad girls and um, and she was the baddest. <laughs> <laughs> she was the baddest. There's so much stuff I couldn't even fit in this film that I would have loved to explore if I had had the time. But um, uh, she's truly one uh, raging iconoclast. And I find that inspirational because we're all so busy colouring between the lines, you know, and, and uh, people like her are, are bursting, bursting with colour and life. And, yeah, she's inspirational. Yeah. I mean, In a weird way. Yeah, she she was. I mean... Talk a little bit about, you know, what inspired her to go, you know, she was a camera woman for CNN and she was going into conflict zones all the time, constantly putting her life at risk. Um, what motivated her? What did you, what did you find? I think for Margaret, and it took me a really long time to under, begin to understand her or feel that I understood her. And, um, what I think for Margaret, unless she was at the burning coal face of history and life and intensity, she didn't feel zen. That's where she felt her most zen. Um, so I believe that's what drove her. And um, that put her in some really sticky situations. The magic ingredient that I that took me so long to learn is that what enabled Margaret to pr push through was the utter pitilessness of her childhood. So it's that thing of um, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Um, what didn't this pitiless, rather cruel childhood meant that she was inured even to her, um, her own pain, inner pain, physical pain. She just didn't feel it, didn't give it an ounce of her attention. So she had some weird um, kind of, without having any faith in any kind of uh, God, she had this weird Buddhist ability to endure, you know, this unbelievable stoicism. Um and a unique physiology, I believe. Like she, even though she had a lot of demons, she was never captured by them. She could, she just managed them. The drugs and the the sex. She was a drama-free zone. It looked like just chaos all around her, but she, it was totally um, unbelievable self-discipline and uh, will meant that she was a drama-free zone inside herself yeah i mean i thought that was kind of one of the interesting things about her is that you know she had all these men around her constantly and she sort of but she sort of put that to the side when it came to her work and uh you know she she had that energy that uh you know she just wasn't going to live by anyone's rules no wouldn't was anathema to her um yeah, rules were not for Margaret. Yeah. She, her, she was such a bundle of extremes that that's why I could never find what's the core of her, what's of her, where's the um the dependable heart of her, and I just could never really find that. What's dependable is that she never. Um, what's dependable about her? Hmm. I don't know. I have to understand anything more than that, but um, it's such a bundle of extremes that mm -hmm. it's quite hard to. You, you never meet somebody like, and nobody could forget her. Everybody, if you met her once, you would be impacted by her. She was just a unique, charismatic, um, kind of a beast. She was kind yeah. of. Is there one story and, or one moment um, when you were doing all this research on her that you know? surprised you or you thought was the most Margaret thing that that you found well the, the weirdest thing was hearing her voice because she's so badass such a, a um 
such an iconoclast that you'd expect her to be really ballsy and, and kind of dude-like. And she wasn't. She was Victorian and very mannered and had posture like a ballerina. Weird. You just don't, you, she, like I said, just a bundle of contradictions. Um, and, and, um, and very, very loyal, very loyal to her people. Yeah. So to, what, what was it, you know, in her that drew you, I mean, is she, you're attracted to these strong women like Zena, for example, and you've got, uh, is, is this just another kind of human figure that's sort of like, a uh, just a, a unbelievably powerful woman? Yeah, I, I like bad bitches, and, and Margaret was the worst man. And she, um, you know, it really wasn't a conscious choice. It was a very knee-jerk reaction to receiving this um, probably generic mail-out email saying, would you want to make a story about Margaret Moth? And, and I was like, oh, I was going, dig, dig, dig. oh, I remember her. She got a face blown off. And I wrote back immediately and said, yes, yes, I will find the money. I will I will make it happen. I will get the producers, um, proper producers. All this stuff. And immediately castigated myself for being, you know, just thinking, who the hell am I to promise that I can pull all that off? Um, and somehow my foolishness <laughs> and my, um, and I'm a very determined person and I can, I can, um, I'm very ADD, so, I do have that hyper focus, so it was hyper focus for a good eighteen months. But two years later, it's done. From the first email to Sundance, it was less than two years, which I think is kind of amazes me. Yeah, What's and the... remember, this was all kicking off at the at the beginning of COVID, so I was terrified that I wouldn't get funding. Yeah, so I had to go and interview people just in case it killed them all. <laughs> you know? So, so um, yeah. yeah, I'll. Some of the interviews we did were um, were out of my desperation that I might not get funding for 10 years and these people would have forgotten because already so many had died, including Margaret herself. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.